Hey, careful, guys. Careful, keep back in this bitch. This is going to be a little story time. Yes, I'm still in bed. This story time is about the time that I got arrested for using a fake ID to purchase alcohol. So check this. I went into this store and I went into this store to purchase two miniature bottles of Absolute Vodka. Now, I don't drink liquor anymore, so this is an old story. But anyway, so went in to purchase two miniature bottles of Absolute Vodka. So I wait my turn, you know, I get up to the counter because they had the miniature bottles behind the counter. So, you know, I told the, the, the girl, the lady, what I wanted. So she gave them to me and now, um, so she then tells me the total before she actually asked for my ID. So, and the only ID that I had on me at the time was, um, I had my passport and I had a fake ID that I had, oh God, back when I was in high school. So, me not thinking, just, I don't know, a dumb moment. I gave her my passport, which clearly had all of my fucking information on it, including my picture. And then, I also handed her the fake ID. What the fuck was I thinking? If I would have just given her the passport in the beginning and been done with it, none of this shit that happened next would have ever happened. Because at this point, of course, I'm of age to buy alcohol. But my stupid ass gave her the passport and the fucking fake ID. So she's looking and everything is kind of checking out. And it, apparently it dawned on her, why did he give me this ID plus the passport? So she's looking and she kind of did something similar to what they do at the airport. When they have your, when you actually have like a physical ticket where they kind of go line by line and put like a little check next to it. And I'm like, bitch, don't mark up my passport. Now, I probably shouldn't have said that to her, but I don't, I don't want them damn marks on my passport. I didn't. No, don't do that. So then she looks at me. Because granted, I'm me and my passport, and I'm not me on a fake ID. I'm like, oh, shit. So she's like, um, sorry, sir. I'm not going to be able to um, complete this purchase because these are two different forms of identification. That's how out of it that I was. What was going on with me? Was I drunk already? Had I been pre-gaming? Was I just out of it? Was I just completely sleepy and tired? I don't. I don't know what the deal was. I have no idea. So, um, so she gives me back the ID and my passport. And she's like, um, if we want to get this reversed and you still want to make this purchase, it's going to be about three to four hundred dollars for us to go down and, um, File something. I cannot remember the name of what she said. Once again, my stupid ass me. Hey, my stupid ass was like, uh, I'm not going to pay three to four hundred dollars for, you know, some miniature bottles. And then not even a couple seconds later, I said, um, well, yeah, let's go and get this reverse. Stupid fucker. So she shuts down her register because there's other people that's working now. She shuts down her register. She had a... Uh, Chevy Impala. She had a Chevy Impala. It was her in the front seat. She was driving, of course. Her car was a black Chevy Impala. And it was her co-worker in the passenger side. And my ass was in the back. And, you know, we just riding along and everything else. And, um, uh, we headed to down, downtown. I don't even know what freaking city or state we were in. But we headed downtown to get whatever this issue is resolved. And... Along the way, you know, she's just asking me, you know, questions. And then she asked me how old I was. And I told her. And she, when I told her my age, she was like, you could have asked me for my number. And I'm like, that's so fucking random. But, oh, oh, okay. So then her and her coworker are just talking, yada, yada, yada. And then I'm like, well, you know what? I think I changed my mind. I don't think I want to proceed with this. It's not that serious about these miniature bottles and then she proceeds to say no we're gonna we're gonna continue on down here and we're gonna take care of this because 
you shouldn't have done this in front of me. And you could have easily, easily left and walked away in the store and not proceeded with any of this. So at this point, I'm thinking I'm fucked. So we proceed to keep driving and then we arrive at the damn some court, some court judicial judicial building shit downtown, wherever, whatever city we were in. And she asked me, she was like, uh, she was like, well, you know, I'll be right back. And then her coworker was still in the front seat. So she's the only person that, you know, got out of the car. So she's like, I'll be right back. So, you know, I'm sitting there, you know, still just like, okay. The next thing I fucking know, she returns with two officers. I get arrested. And that ain't the kicker. The kicker to this, to all this is, it was a motherfucking dream. See you next Wednesday with another video. Peace.